1150 and Super Duty. High school football is back, and soon we'll have our full blitz show for you. But nevertheless, we've got some highlights to show you. And to kick things off for tonight, we've got our very own Jazz McCoy with our Game of the Week. It's the Blitz on 2 Game of the Week. First Baptist has been lighting it up this season. Although it's only been two games, the Hurricanes are looking to make a statement. The Hurricanes had a come from behind victory last week, and tonight they're looking to keep their record clean against Ben Lippin. The Hurricanes storm down the field, and now they're looking for the end zone as Will Daniel heaves it up to save on Washington, and he brings it down for the first score of the night. Later on in the game, the Canes strike again. This time, Daniel fakes the handoff and he shakes him, bakes his way into the end zone, and the Canes have a 14-0 lead. Coming out of the half, they're looking to strike once more as Kane Moses jumps in front of the pass and takes it the other way. First Baptist goes on to win 40-10. Here's what Coach Johnny Waters had to say about his team's performance. It feels great, man. We got a young team. We kind of still getting the kinks out, but we're finding ways to win. Our defense scores two touchdowns, so we're excited about that. I mean, they're, 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 they're young, and they're, and they're getting it. They're getting it. Off against Trinity next Friday. Things got off to a rocky start for the Cyclones, but Porter Gowd back up and running. The Swamp Cats hold a 7-0 lead, but here come the Cyclones. Porter Gowd repping the purple jerseys tonight, and the defense feeling the love. Spivey Woodward. Gets to the quarterback and the Cyclones force the fumble, but they can't land on it, but they force a fourth down. Unfortunately for them, that would be a short-lived victory. The Swamp Cats get things rolling once again. This time, it's a handoff to Jackson Brown, and Brown will find a hole, and he takes it 82 yards for the touchdown, and the Swamp Cats hold a 14-0 lead. Later in the game, the Cyclones are on the move. It's fourth and short, and what does Matt Kelly do? He goes under center and pushes his way in for that one right there, and he gets him just a little bit closer to the goal line and a fresh set of downs. But in the end, the Cyclones couldn't hang in there with the Swamp Cats. They go on to fall 28-0. Porter Gow will face off against Pinewood Prep next Friday. Faith Christian traveled out to face Charleston Collegiate, and the Knights looking to start the night off by getting on the board first. The handoff looks like it's going to go for good yardage, but Julian Williams... Pops the ball free, and Aaron Jaquez gets to the fumble, and the Sun Devils will take over. Didn't take them long to find daylight. Darius Singletary, make sure you remember that name. He goes to work right away, switches fields, makes men miss, and he gets a little razzle-dazzle sprinkled in there, and that one he finds all the way at pay dirt. And the Sun Devils take the lead, but the Knights aren't going down without a fight. Just off the goal line, the Knights fight for the touchdown, the big man. Keeps the ball, punches his way in for the score, but in the end of the night, the Knights would fall 42 to 16. Faith Christian will face off against Andrew Jackson Academy. Charleston Collegiate will face off against Richard Wynn next Friday. Let's take a look at how other teams did around the Low Country. First Baptist went on to a 3-0 start after taking home a 40 to 10 victory. Porta Gal will have to find their first victory later on down the road. They fall 28 nothing. Charleston Collegiate. Took down Faith Christian 42-16. And Cathedral fell to Patrick Henry 24-50. Northwood went on to fall to Hilton Head Christian 44-8. And Clarendon went on to fall as well to Lawrence 44-6. Pinewood Prep went on to fall 14-42. Palmetto Christian would end up forfeiting their game tonight. And Dorchester Academy would go on to fall as well 27-6. Someone else trying to get ready for their first big game is the Clemson Tigers. We've talked about this day for a couple of months, but finally it's here. The Tigers getting ready to face off against Wake Forest for the first game of the season. Now, the Tigers are looking for to make a statement. They look to reclaim the national title, but I think the thing that Dabo and the Tigers are looking at right now is the fact that it's opening day. To be honest with you, opening day you know, of anything is always special, and that's really, I think, the mindset that our team has embraced this year is every day's opening day. Every day's opening day. And, uh, you know, just trying to win the day one day at a time. And, you know, this team has really embraced that. The Clemson Tigers will take on Wake Forest tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. And, of course, we can't forget about the Citadel Bulldogs. The Citadel is getting ready for opening day as well. They'll travel out to USF. Make sure you tune in. They'll kick things off at 7 p.m. <laughs>